Hello and welcome to West London and we're talking today about two teams who have fabulous traditions Chelsea and West Ham United Great to be with you from Stamford Bridge I'm Derek Ray, Stuart Robson is alongside me to provide expert analysis Stuart, how do you see this going? Well, the only important area, Derek, is going to be that midfield If Chelsea can dominate that area and create an overload they're going to control the game That's going to be key to who wins this match The lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays with Antonio Hudiga in central defence. And Goro Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, in this shape, if they're wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. It ought to be a really interesting battle. Chelsea kick off. Couldn't keep the ball. Havertz. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. Marcus Alonso. Now with that. Well, they keep the ball moving. Conte. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there, he's not going to take any messing about here. Declan Rice. Pablo Fornals with it. Lanzini. Might take the lead. Can he finish? Superb stop. Trying to deliver it accurately. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. James. On to Werner. Can they hit on the break? Keeper's ball every day of the week. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Playing with purpose and control. Antonio. This looks interesting. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save.
Who can he pick out? And clears his lines. Getting forward. And still looking for space. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Marcos Alonso. Mount. Kai Havertz. Marcos Alonso. Keeping it moving dynamically. And they could face difficulties here. Jorginho. Werner. And the flag does go up. Must have been tight. move from West Ham and possibilities here able to get a body in the way can he give them the lead in it goes but wait a minute that will not count well that was tight but he was just offside it was a good finish though Possession. Werner. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. Conte. And a goal it is. But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant. They've regained possession. Alonso and well, that's wonderful attacking play and he's missed the opportunity to net the opening goal well it should be 1-0 Derek you can see how frustrated he is with himself Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball. But in terms of creating chances, they've been well below their normal standards. Unless that changes quickly, it's going to be a really frustrating day for them. And tidily play. Conte. Mastery of the passing game. Well, it's ended up being, quite frankly, easy for the keeper. Well, he should be hitting the back of the net. That's a poor effort. Antonio and that's great work to keep it in play a creative look about this oh managing to beat him it's still alive finally gathered by the keeper well that's a really good recovery he had to be smart there Mount Werner Conte has it Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Rhys James. 
and Mount. Werner, superb block. Suchek. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. He was slightly disappointed in that first half. He's had no real impact on the game. I just think he needs to work a bit harder to receive the ball. However, I'm sure he'll get better in the second 45. So the beginning of the second half here in West London. Jorginho. Alonso. Crossing opportunity. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. And an astute piece of defending. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? For Niles. Went in strongly, decisively. Conte. Well read to ease the pressure. For Niles. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. Good looking ball. And here's Lanzini. Able to get a body in the way. Jorginho. And Havertz. Running room in the wide position. Opportunity to take the lead. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. And they will make the change now. Number 11, Timo Werner. Coming onto the pitch, number 9, Romelu Lukaku. It's a short one. And Kai Havertz. Well, no danger now. Is now with Jorginho and return to Havertz. And there it is, 1 0. The Reverts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back here, isn't it? And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. And the Hammers get the ball moving again. Will there be a quick reply from them? There needs to be. Substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch. Declan Rice. Not showing good patience. Number eight, Mateo Kovacic. Tremendous ball played through. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square.
Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Jorginho. Here's Kovacic. Shielding the ball superbly. Now he must favour the cross. Conte. Rhys James. Looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. Takes on the shot. Well, after that attempt, gobbled up by the keeper. Declan Rice. Possession lost, intercepted. Alonso. Here's Kovacic, Jorginho, Conte, an effective challenge. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Antonio, well, they're moving the ball neatly enough, just looking for that decisive pass. Can he put it away? And in! Oh yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal! Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Conte. Jorginho. Time is against Chelsea, but they can still battle back. But they dealt with the threat first. Jared Bowen. Declan Rice on the ball Diop Suchek well, high marks for that pass and offside well close one Well, in the closing stages, and Stuart, Chelsea are slightly up against it here. Well, it's been close, but I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game. They've just not created enough clear-cut chances. There's still time, though. They just need to get the ball into the danger area. Lukaku. And space to cross it. Real chance. Terrific block there. Kai Havertz, and that's a straightforward stop. He's protecting it effectively. Tremendous intuition to win it back, but certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Marcos Alonso, Lukaku, Jorginho, and dispossessed. Running with the ball confidently. And players waiting in the centre. Conte. Now with Jorginho. Ball is loose. Under real pressure here. 
So the final whistle, and that's not how Chelsea fans were scripting it in their minds. A defeat. I wonder what you thought about their overall performance. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he scored a good goal, and if I was his coach, I certainly wouldn't be worried by him missing a couple of chances. The fact is, he was a constant threat today.